and welcome to YouTube, the show dedicated to finding the best acts in the area and bringing them to you. Coming up this week, we have Bittersweet Hearts and the Ghost Tours. <laughs> Now you can find them on their Twitter at The Ghost Tours. Now we will be hearing more from them later on in the show, but up next we have Bitter Sweethearts. Now these guys came in and performed for us yesterday. So here they are with Journey Ends. <laughs>
now we are joined here by the bitter sweetheart. How are you guys? What up? Hi. 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 Now, Hi. since Hi. years have last been on YouTube, we've had a bit of a mix up in the lineup. Uh, can you explain what's went on here? Right. Well, we've got the lesser, <laughs> the lesser boy, the lesser, the lesser, the lesser boy, boy. The lesser singer, boy. Lesser male. and the guy that just needs to do the job in the corner, the bassist. Whoa, Whoa, a bit harsh. <laughs> a bit harsh. <laughs> a bit harsh. Well, how did you guys get involved in the band? Um, I met the band a year ago at a competition called Soundwave where we were both in it. I won't, by the way. Um, <laughs> but then, again, but then um, we kind of started working together after that, writing original music just for me, like as a solo career. But then we just started gigging together and just. Now, uh, we've just heard Journey Ends, which is your new single, which came out on the 16th of January. What's the reception for that being like so far? Well, everybody seems to like it first off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's not. There's been few negative. There's been not any negative is what I was supposed to say. Uh, yeah, it seems to be well received. <laughs> when, when it comes to your original music, what's the writing process for it? Like, does any of you have any particular roles when it comes to it? We all have our input, but it's mainly Jack and Chris who do that. So do a thing where we. We kind of, me and Jack started, we go for a coffee and we'd jam in the car and end up coming up with stuff. Um, but since Jamesy's arrived, he offers a lot as well because he was a singer, songwriter himself and still does stuff. So he's offering a lot of the table and he's very technical as well, so that helps out. Now, back in January, you performed at Soundways, as you mentioned before. And you've actually taken part in the competition before, separately, like you as a solo yeah. artist and as the band. What was it like performing, not as part of the competition, but as a band as a whole? It was great. I not I yeah, I, was, I thought it was really good to watch the other, like the people that were in it this year and like realise that we were there last year and how much we've changed and come on in, in musically and as a band together. Like we've gelled so much over the past year. Yeah. Yeah, but you've got another big gig coming up at the Clooney 2 on the 18th of April. How are preparations for that one coming along? Good, I think because obviously Soundwave was just a really short set, so at the moment we're just writing as much as we can and just perfecting our songs. So finally, for anyone who wants to follow you and find out when you're bringing out music and when you're doing gigs, where can people find you online? Facebook is... Uh Facebook.com slash bittersweethearts band as Twitter far as I'm aware. Is at Hearts Bitter. Yeah. Hearts underscore bitter. Heart underscore bitter. And Instagram is bittersweethearts UK. Well, thanks for coming in and good Thank luck you. for the gig. Thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye. Don't forget yeah. to catch them at the Clooney in Newcastle on the 18th of April. <laughs>
Sweetheart. Now, if you want to hear more from them, you can check out their Twitter at heart underscore bitter. Now, we are going to go back to the ghost tours with their second song of the evening, Psycho Killer. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Got your inside on the outside Inside on the outside Inside on the outside You got your inside on the outside Strokes. Okay, now we are going to head back to the action yesterday with a bit of sweetheart. Here's our final song, High Low. <laughs> Yeah. 
As the tears run, they burn your face, but your memories will never be erased. Never meet ya, let it teach ya. Bit of sweethearts. Okay, now I am joined by the lovely band members of the Ghost Tours. I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Okie dokie. So, are you looking forward to your upcoming gig at the Corner Flag here in Sunderland on Thursday, March the 5th? At yeah, 7 o'clock. Sure. Well, I sure. think, James, this yeah. is a question for you. Go on, James. Yeah, 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 always happy to be in Sunderland. Yeah, yeah, um, we've got a couple of other uh, gigs coming up. Mm -hmm. 15th of May will be at uh, Think Tank. Yeah. Yeah, in Newcastle, and mm -hmm. um, you can always keep up with our gigs at theghosttours.co.uk. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. So, Eddie, 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 you dabbled in music, poetry, and novel writing before the band sort of came about. How do you feel like that sort of influenced everything? Do you think that that helps in terms of songwriting and in terms of the sound that you guys make? Yeah, I think it does help with the songwriting thing. I think that's mm -hmm. where the, um, the thing about character um, mm -hmm. in the songs comes in. Mm -hmm. um, but aside from that, yeah, that's probably the main, main influence. Yeah. Yeah. So I, do, I do think it's really cool how you actually have separate writing backgrounds. Like, I think quite a lot of, of the, the people and the writers that we have on, they, they just sort of specialise in, in songwriting. So I do think it's, it's really cool that you, you have that. Oh well nice. done. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it difficult to teach yourself to play a six-string guitar? Because I know previously you played bass and then you yeah. started yeah that yeah that was you right yeah yeah it <laughs> was yeah <laughs> did it was it was it difficult i mean i don't personally play but i can imagine that would be a bit of a it, it wasn't thing. it wasn't too bad because of because i already um knew a lot of music theory um it was it was okay yeah. um but um it's just more about um thinking differently about the instrument because mm -hmm. bass is a lot more about using space right. um and the guitar i tend to probably play too much <laughs> Well, that's really good. Like you, well you play it well, so well done. That's really good. Uh, where can people find your latest EP, Myths and Monsters? Oh, that's quite cool. Well, I think uh, if you go to our website, uh, you can see all the links. Uh, the EP is on iTunes and also in Amazon, City Baby, mm -hmm. and it's also in some shops in Newcastle, like RPM, mm -hmm. and Pop Rocks in Sunderland. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Amazing, so you're all over. Do you have uh, do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have things kicking about on there? Yes, as well? yes, yes. Yeah? We've got um, Ghost a Ghost YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Facebook right. as Facebook. well. Uh -huh. right. if, if you go to the website uh, www.ghosttours.co.uk, mm -hmm. all the links are on there to everything right. we've got. There we go. And uh, finally, where oh, where can viewers find you on social media? Covered this, right? Well, excellent. You've been really, really amazing, and I'm really excited for you to play again. So, do you want to take your place over on the stage, and we can sure. hear you for the final time tonight? Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thanks, Fab, thanks a lot. Thank you. Oh, I'm a dead caddy. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this month's episode. If you want to stay up to date with all of the goings on on YouTube, you can follow us on Twitter at YouTube The Show, and you can also give us a like on Facebook at YouTube Show. And now, playing us out with Slow Decade, it's The Ghost Tours. <laughs>